Hey everybody, I'm back and it's time for another episode of Miata News. And in this episode, the big news this time is the 35th anniversary Miata. There's been all kinds of rumors floating around and it looks like this is actually going to happen. Basically what uh, we know so far is that uh, there's not going to be any limit on how many they're going to make. They're basically only going to take orders online. There's a comment that said they had to sign off on it with a gold pen and I don't know what that meant but a lot of people are speculating that means that a car is going to be green and we can cross our fingers that this is going to be British Racing Green. I have no confirmation that that's actually going to be what it is, but green would be a really cool color. And if they did British Racing Green with a tan top and a tan interior, I can bet they're gonna sell those things like hotcakes. And we're just gonna have to wait for the official announcement, but the things we do know so far is it's gonna have special wheels, it's gonna have the Recaro seats, it's gonna have uh, the upgraded brakes, uh, so I'm expecting something that's kind of along the lines of the 30th and I'm gonna have to interrupt this video with some late breaking news I was actually in the process of editing this video when this came across the wire So I stopped what I was doing and I have to put this in here because the seat maker Recaro has filed for bankruptcy and Who knows what's gonna happen? Uh, with that how this is gonna affect the next model year and the 35th anniversary car uh, they were talking about having Recaro seats in that, so that may not happen. So we're just going to have to keep our ear to the ground and see what happens with this. And as if that weren't enough, the wheelmaker BBS has declared themselves to be insolvent and they weren't able to make payroll recently, so nobody really knows what's going to happen to it at this point and it would be really sad to see these companies go in other news with mazda they have filed a trademark for a new logo and the new logo looks like this and personally i'm a little so-so on this logo but you know I figured they've had the same logo for god decades now. It's pretty much time for something new. They've also changed the Mazda font a little bit. It looks like this now. I don't know when they're going to start using this. Maybe 25, 26 model year. We'll have to wait and see. But that's all the info I have on right now. We're just going to have to wait and see when that comes out. I also wanted to follow up on a report that I got from MotorOne.com about how Miata sales were down 50%. Basically what I'd like to do is show you a little overview of Mazda sales in the first and second quarter of the year over the last few model years. And if we look at February 2024 on this chart of monthly sales, we can see, yeah, it's quite a bit less than uh, February 2023, but it's 45%. It's not 50%. <laughs> And you can see that the numbers are kind of going up as it progresses throughout the year up until June. And the thing you can also see here is that it's really varied over the model years. And the Miata sales really aren't changing that much over time. I'm surprised that Motor One didn't put out an article saying Miata sales are down 90% in June of 2022. But, you know, it's just the way the Mazda production is. They only make Miatas for a certain part of the year. And... Uh, you know, the numbers kind of go up and down. Uh, they've really been fluctuating when the production schedule is going. And the Miata is not really a high volume car. So I'm not sure why Motor One really likes to dog on the Miata like this. There's currently an article they're running about all these other cars that are selling better than the Miata right now. And there are things like the Challenger and the Camaro and the Corvette and the Boxster. And it's like, really? I don't know why you're posting this article. Not to mention the Camaro and the Challenger are both dead after this model year. So who cares if they sell more of the Miata? They're not really even competitors to it. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's keep moving. And I also wanted to recommend a video that I saw on the Fastlane Car YouTube channel where they compared a stock NC to a stock NDRF. And basically their question was, the NDRF is $23,000 more than the NC. Should they upgrade? Personally, my take on it is no. I wouldn't trade my NC for an NDRF because $23,000 buys a lot of mods and I could buy a turbo and brakes and coilovers and all kinds of upgrades. I could put an Android Auto head in it so I have all the ND uh, amenities in there. Plus I'd have more storage, bigger trunk, all that stuff, a bigger passenger compartment and uh, NC with those mods would pretty much run circles around that ND. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the ND, they're great cars, but 
if that was the choice I had to make and we're just talking pure value to value, I think the NC would be a better value in that situation. And as you guys know, I've been out of commission for a couple months. That's all over with. I'm back on my regular schedule now and I've got a ton of content to crank out. Uh, I just put out a video where I helped the state patrol pull over a erratic driver I came across on the road. I just edited my dash camera video, so it's not as good a quality as the stuff I normally do, but you get to see the whole event beginning to end. So check that video out. There's a link to it at the end of this one. Also coming up, I just finished doing a complete Bosectomy on my NC. Basically, I replaced the stock speakers. I replaced the Bose amp with a 200 watt Alpine. I put a 300 watt powered 10 inch subwoofer in the trunk. I put in a portable radio. Uh, I installed a bunch of other stuff too. And uh, I basically did a whole video on the process and how I tied it into the uh, stock wiring and all that stuff. It sounds awesome. I also did sound deadening on the whole passenger compartment. It's much quieter than before. And I'm hoping to give you guys a good indication of how much quieter it is based on some of the videos I've shot in there. And one thing I need to throw out here also is a little note about my now deleted video that I heard you all loud and clear uh, about a possible NB2 project car. In that video, I asked if people would be interested in donating to help me get that project started. And yeah, that went over kind of like a fart in church. So, <laughs> so anyway, nixing that idea, I think I might have figured out a way to make this happen anyway, but it's probably not going to happen for a couple months if it does. Um, but I'm still working on it. I'm hoping to make it come to the channel and we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the future. But that's all I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.